Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Old Tapan and Ramapo is brought to you by RWJ Barnabas Health. Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm Jay Cook with JerseySportsZone.com here in Northern Bergen County. Old Tapan has been one of the big surprises of the 2022 season. They're undefeated, and their defense has pitched a trio of shutouts. But they face their toughest test of the year. Ramapo comes into this game on a two-game losing streak, something that hasn't happened in the last six years. With All-State quarterback Jack Grosser out with an injury, Landon DePrima got the start under center, and Old Tapan takes advantage early. Aiden Heaney has the pick on Poe's first drive. Next play, Old Tapan takes a shot. Tommy Caracciolo finds Jack Diggins in stride for a 27-yard touchdown. Old Tapan with an early statement. They lead 7-0 just like that. Ramapo responds on their next drive. De Prima to Benny Robinson. He's got moves. Robinson dives for the pylon, but he's ruled down at the two-yard line. But these two connect again. De Prima fades it up for Robinson. He's got a foot down for the touchdown. Ramapo gets on the board, and it's a 7-7 game after one. Early second quarter, Old Tapan closes out a nice drive with Aiden Heaney. He races to the zone from 11 yards out, and the Golden Knights are back in front, 14-7. Ramapo answers right back. DePrima goes deep downfield. Nate Burleson Jr. is wide open. Burleson Jr. goes 66 yards on a house call. The extra point is no good. So Poe trails 14-13 with 9.35 left in the half. Both defenses came up with big plays later in the second quarter. James McGarrico intercepts the overthrown pass. That takes the Golden Knights out of the red zone. But Old Tapan came up with a stop as well when Evan Brooks intercepts the tip pass. Brooks is a junior to watch this season. But Ramapo gets one more chance before the break. From the 15, Landon De Prima keeps it himself, and he turns on the Jets. No one will catch him. 85 yards for Landon De Prima. That's incredible speed. Ramapo misses another extra point, but they go into halftime, leading 19-14. In the third quarter, the Golden Knights take back the lead on special teams. Ronan Malady blocks the punt and recovers it for six. Old Tapan converts a two-point try after the score, and they lead 22-19 with 7.29 left in the third. The Raiders get the ball right back, and DePrima takes another shot. Nate Burleson Jr. hauls it in and jogs into pay dirt. His second score of the game goes for 52 yards. That makes it 25-22, and the offense stays on the field for two. De Prima goes on the move, and it's Robinson who hauls in the conversion. At the end of three quarters, Ramapo is up 27-22. In the fourth quarter, Ramapo is running wild. Ethan Moran is a bruising runner, and this carry has shades of Marshawn Lynch's Beastquake run in Seattle. Moran goes 52 yards down the sideline before he's pushed out. Ramapo is deep in Old Tapan territory. Same drive here, it's third and five. Will Scordato snags it, but he's cut down by Brooks, short of the line to gain. So what does Ramapo do? They send out Anthony Dabrowski for a 33-yard field goal, and it's good. Poe now has an eight-point lead with eight minutes to play. It's 30-22. And from here on out, the story was about Ramapo's defense. They made it nearly impossible to throw the ball. Matt Bedrin goes down to snag this one for the diving pick. And then on the final play of the game, Jack Dent has the interception. This seals the win for Ramapo. The Raiders snap a two-game losing streak while simultaneously ending Old Tapan's hopes for an undefeated season. 30-22 is the final. Landon DePrima was stellar. Three touchdown passes and an 85-yard touchdown run highlighted his breakout game. 
That was made possible by a stellar week of practice and preparation. There was no way we were losing three in a row. There was no way. We came out tonight. We had nothing to lose. We were picked to lose this game. You know, we had nothing to lose. We played our hearts out. And the final score showed what happened. I mean, just team chemistry and coming together as one. That's our team motto. Always has been. With a, started with Coach Gibbs here, that as one motto. And we just couldn't, we were just so ready to come in today. We played as a team, uh, played with great chemistry, great momentum. It was just, couldn't be happier with the team tonight. Reporting from Old Japan, I'm Jay Cook, JerseySportsZone.com.